African markets are tapping into blended finance, SDRs, carbon markets in a bid to help close the $48 billion annual methane funding gap. The latest intervention is the Africa Methane Abatement Bond, which is promising to unlock billions of dollars. CNBC Africa is now joined live by Ibrahima Aidara for more, who is also a senior advisor at Africa Catalyst. Ibrahima, thank you so much for your time all the way from Dakar, Senegal. So this is quite a very timely conversation that we are seeing here and in terms of the numbers we are seeing that methane is responsible for 30 percent of global warming but it is receiving just two percent of climate finance so Ibrahim, let's talk about why methane is such critical it's it's such a critical element here but it is yet an overlooked issue for africa thank you very much um, madam for this uh, critical question i think um uh, there is a large consensus that methane is a potent uh, greenhouse over 80 times more impactful than uh, CO2 over a 20 years period. Yet it has been largely neglected in climate financing uh, space, especially in Africa. So for our continent, uh, this is critical because many of our emissions come from agri from waste and oil and gas operation sectors that are highly methane intensive but uh, yet underfunded. One key reason uh, for this oversight is the historical focus on carbon di dioxide and long-term net zero target. Methane, uh, with its shorter, uh, shorter atmospheric uh, lifespan, is uh, kind of um, low-hanging fruit for climate mitigation. Uh, but this hasn't translated into uh, proportional funding. For Africa, uh, where climate vulnerability is acute, cutting methane emission is both a development and climate imperative. I think it's improved air quality, public health, and agri-productivity, which, which is critical for, for, our, for our population. Yes, indeed. And looking at the launch that you're seeing here, that is of the Africa Methane Abatement Bond, that is the AMAB. We do have some pilots we are seeing in Nigeria, Egypt, and even Angola. And also the drafting of methane abatement guidelines for 19 high-emitting countries. So, Ibrahima, what are some of the early results that you're seeing emerge from these efforts? And how do they align with the Global Methane Pledge? And also in terms of key policies there, are there any that we are seeing in terms of the implementation gaps that could be or need to be addressed early enough? Yes, effectively, uh, there is some pilot, uh, pilot country, at least three pilot country, uh, which, namely Ni Nigeria, Egypt, and Angola. And um, uh, they, are some showing, um, they are showing some promising early, early signs. For example, in Nigeria, the satellite, tra uh, satellite tracking of methane leaks in, in oil operation has already led to targeted intervention. So in Egypt and Angola, they are uh, integrating uh, methane metrics into the national investment framework. This alignment with uh, the global methane pledge is essential. Uh, so these countries, three countries are, at least, are moving from commitment to action with tangible financial instrument to back it. However, uh, effectively, there is, a re uh, there is a remaining gaps. Uh, many uh, African countries lack robust monitoring, reporting, and verification system and sector-specific policy guidance. Fin financing flow are still very little, but also too fragmented. Implement implementation capacity, especially in regulatory enforcement and data integration, is another key hurdle. We need more coordinated support from international donors, multilateral uh, development bank uh, to close these gaps and scale pilot successes across the continent. Yes, and money is very important there. Financials are very important, as you've mentioned there, and also the aspect of integrating data, which is a very critical. But let us look at other models of financing that we're seeing here, because I'm looking at SDRs, at blended finance, and also other banks coming into play here, and also carbon markets, you know, all of them helping improve methane monitoring. So let us 
in on some of these tools and how they can help unlock or close Africa's $48 billion gap that you're seeing here when it comes to the methane funding gap and also unlock financing through more accurate indices. You can expound a little bit more on it. You just touched it, but expound more on this. Yeah, uh, you're right. Um, they, they are some kind of innovative uh, financing, financing kind of uh, method can be used. And blended finance is a, a central uh, for our Africa uh, methane funding uh, gaps, mm -hmm. you know, to be to be breached. Um, African countries are usually considered, quote unquote, as as risky, and there is a need to de-risk investment and catalyze private capital. So, strategic use of uh, the SDR, particularly rechannel it to through multilateral uh, bank system or regional facilities can provide long-term, low-cost capital for methane infrastructure. Uh, carbon market, though debatable, are another high potential tools. So methane reduction are often cheaper and faster, as I mentioned, to achieve, uh, making them ideal for carbon credit generation. But to attract investment, um, African country uh, must improve methane tracking and uh, this is where innovation like satellite monitoring uh, like in Nigeria come in and they provide credible emission data that feed directly into the national determined contribution and investment grade project pipeline. This level of transparency is critical not only for unlocking funds but also for making Africa's uh, climate contribution more visible and bankable on the global stage. And uh, despite some of the opportunities that you're seeing there, Ibrahim, let us look at uh, some of the other opportunities in terms of economic and the job growth that you're likely to see in the continent because we do have you know looking at the seashells blue bond that we're seeing to egypt's green bond that we do have already in existence how then can methane linked sovereign bonds enhance credit worthiness and at the same time drive broader economic and job growth yeah um methane linked sovereign bond like uh, the african methane abatement mm -hmm can play a, a transformative role. They channel capital into measurable mitigation action which improve environmental and fiscal indicators. This in turn enhance sovereign credit worthiness. Investors value transparency and impact and bonds tied to methane abatement deliver both. Uh, taking Nigeria uh, case of uh, LNG sector, cutting methane uh, leakages in, in improve gas recovery, boost export, and strengthen energy security. So this lead to job creation, increased revenue, and and a, a cleaner development pathway. In agri, for example, and waste management, similar outcome are being seen. Livelihood are being improved through composting, biogas, and better land management. So it's not just about emission. It's about economic transformation uh, driven but, uh, by, by climate smart investment. Yes, Ibrahim. And uh, among us, all of these opportunities that we do have here, I am looking at some of the risks and failures. If this does then uh, not work out, what alternatives do we have? So. And also, let us look at it from a successful, you know, succession point of view. If this is successful, that is A and B, like, is it likely to become a blueprint for other regions tackling methane? And also, how is Africa likely to lead the global charge on this issue? Yes, definitely. Um, for example, if you, if you consider what we uh, recommended um, under the AMAP uh, framework, at Africa Catalyst, I mean, um, we we approach this in two, in two ways. Uh, the pilot phase, which I kind of uh, described here, and the second phase long term, which is uh, scaling up. And uh, definitely, um, uh, AMAP has the, the potential 
to be uh, a re to be a, a replicable and scalable model and uh, it blends climate ambition with financial innovation anchoring uh, methane reduction in national development strategy while creating attractive investment vehicle so africa is demonstrating that low and middle income countries can lead on methane in the right instrument data and incentive are in place our leadership is not just moral it, it, it is practical we are we are showing in, in on the continent uh, the world that is that it's possible to design a financial tool that serve both climate and development goal without waiting um, uh -huh. so long you know so by turning methane uh, from a problem into uh, an opportunity uh -huh. africa is not just catching up we are we are setting new space new pace uh, for for global uh, finance climate finance Yes, and this is a very huge opportunity that I am seeing here for Methane and also for Africa as a whole. So who are some of the partners that you're working with? Who is on the table? So we are engaging with uh, a variety of, of partners being in the financial uh, sector and uh, technical, technical sector. Uh, we are engaging with uh, AFDB, uh, African Steam Bank, and uh, other technical partners like uh, GGGI, uh, our colleagues uh, ASAP in Ghana, um, NFGI, uh, and we are also engaging with, with, with countries and the private sector, like in Nigeria, with the Minister of Finance, uh, the, the, the Council on Climate Changing, and uh, the Federation of uh, SMEs and SMI. Uh, in, in Nigeria. So we have a variety of partners that we are engaging and discussing to see how um, we can uh, reinforce uh, these uh, pilot cases and eventually scale it up. Mm -hmm. And when, when you say scale up there, what are your expectations in terms of maybe return on investment, profits here? What are the financials looking like for you? Um, so we are thinking about like uh, if you can um, have more more additional countries um, and uh, within um, within the uh, green financing um, bond issuance uh, target uh, some specific methane project for about like uh, 50, 50 billion. Mm -hmm. for allocated for methane uh, abatement we think that will be really um, interesting for the continent and by 2030 we can we can we can achieve uh, our paris uh, agreement indeed ibrahima our eyes will be set on that thank you so much for your time